this video, we'll look at how Nastram Portal, available within Heats MDO, can help us to easily streamline process automation, allowing us to discover better designs faster. The Nastram Portal actually consists of two separate portals. The Nastram Input Portal, which acts upon DAT files, BDF files, NAS files, or other commonly supported Nastran input decks, as well as the Nastran output portal, which works upon the OP2 file. We'll look at the specific settings required for HEADS to work with both of these file formats, depending on whether input or output. Before discussing outputs, we should take a look at what types of variables would be supported for the Nastran input portal. To do so, we'll take a look at a body and white Nastran input deck that I have available here. And let's take a look at what types of things are supported and you would typically change using the Nastran input portal. So the first thing to note is you would use the Nastran input portal if you were changing things such as thickness, material orientation, material properties, material choice. As such, if we search within our Nastran input deck, a lot of our variations will be found off of the property card, such as the P-Shell card that I've just went to here. And if we look at the location of the P-Shell property card, we will see, first and foremost, that I've added a bullet here to highlight for us. That typically, these files are formatted in a fixed format, meaning that there's a set length dictating a given card entry as opposed to being separated by delimiters such as commas or spaces as you may be more accustomed to. So if we look at this Nastran P-Shell card, you can see with the banner that I've put across the top here that within each of these silos is located a given entry. So our first entry on this card is P-Shell. Our second entry is that it's property ID 222. Our next entry indicates material assignment ID, and then our next entry indicates the thickness, in this case, of our shell element. And you can see that this value 1.4 is that of our thickness that we would change potentially as a variable for heads. Now what's important to note is this strange format that runs between these. And that's because, as I mentioned earlier, this is not a delimited file, but a fixed format file, meaning that in reality, to tag this, we need to tag this entire region here. And we'll look at in HEADS how we facilitate this fixed format tagging. Similarly, if we search for our material cards, we can see that the format of this is specified the same way. In this case, for NASTRAN, typically this fixed format is length 8. So that's the first thing we need to be aware of, and as we go into HEADS, we'll see how we handle this scenario. In addition to being aware of what the format of your file may be, we also need to, before running our baseline design, ensure that we have our outputs captured in a manner that HEADS can read with its output portal. And this is controlled within our Nastran input deck as well. And I'll show you where we do this. So what you're going to do is search for the bulk data section. So we see our begin bulk there. And typically, you have some parameters specified immediately underneath that begin bulk or they may be located further in your file, but you can simply do a search for param. And there's two things that are of most importance to us. The first thing you need to be aware of is that the Nastran output portal available with HEADS only reads the OP2 file. And to get our data to the OP2 file, we need to use this keyword here of param post minus one. And this minus one is very important because the OP2 file is available in different formats. For the portal supported by HEADS, it has to be in minus one format. So if you're using an FE preprocessing tool that generates your bulk data files for you, you may see that this is a minus two option. You need to manually change it to a minus one or go back into your preprocessing tool and change the option that specifies this to a minus one. The second thing you need to be aware of, and this is independent of HEADS, is that if you want the mass out of your model, you're gonna to wanna to use this param grid point option. Okay, and now we see with those things, our file's already all set. We would go ahead and save this file, execute it so that we get our outputs generated. In this case, we've got the OP2 file that we're gonna extract results from. We've got a punch file that gets written based on our specifications at the subcase level, and we've also got the FO6 file written. So let's see how we handle this in HEADS. Okay, now that we understand the format of the Nastram bulk data file and the changes that we need to make to it to ensure that we can get data out of the OP2 file with the Nastran output portal, we're ready to set up our problem in HEADS. We'll add our Nastran portal, which serves as both the input and the output portal. 
we'll add our input deck. In this case, we're going to do a body in white and VH optimization. And in this case, I'll use the auto tag feature to quickly identify just a couple of my parameters for demonstration purposes. So we'll click auto tag. You can see we're prompted, do we want to use the marking or the portal tagging technique? We'll use the portals here. We are going to locate our thickness, which is our primary variable that we're going to change in this demonstrator. We can sort our P shell cards based on property ID. And in our case, we are going to demonstrate how to quickly tag our A pillar, which corresponds with property ID 50. Thickness, as well as our B pillar, which corresponds with property ID 64. Okay, we would then go ahead and give our variables ranges as normal. We can see that our baseline value is automatically extracted, and we would do this for all of our variables. We're just demonstrating for a couple here. Then on the output side of things, we go ahead and add our OP2 file that we've generated for our baseline design. I could then define my responses and go to tagging. Now in this case we're looking at optimizing the mass, so I'm going to extract the mass from any of the directions. In this case I'll do the X direction, and I'm going to add a response. I don't like the name of that, so I'll go ahead and just rename it to mass. Likewise, I'm going to extract out displacements. In this case I'm looking for the total translation. You can see in the Nastran output portal I've got options to dig into a given node set or to do it for set nodes. In this case, we'll just extract all the nodes from the model, but we could specify specific IDs as well. But again, we'll just do all here. And then what subcases you want to extract from. And we'll do all here as well. And then finally, the time step. And I will go ahead and create another response. All right, and with that, hopefully you've got a sense for how easy the Nastran portal is to use on, for both input tagging as well as output tagging from our OP2 file. Now one crucial step that makes this all possible on the input portal side of things is the definition of the fixed format. So with the portal, Heeds knows how to get that data out, but we also need to specify for Heeds how to write the data back into the file. So for that we'll use a manage print format. We'll do a fixed length. You can see one of the defaults here is fixed 8. It's already created for us, which is going to use a fixed width of eight cells, just what we need for Nastran. So all we have to do is designate that for all of our input parameters. With that, now Heeds knows how to write the data to the file after making changes to our variables. In this case, the thickness associated with P shell property ID 50, corresponding with our eight pillar, and P shell property 64 corresponding with our B pillar. Now what's important here again is to ensure that the format specified for writing aligns with the fixed format requirement that Nastran is expecting to run with the solution. With that we can now discover better designs faster with Heeds MDO in coupling Nastran leveraging both the Nastran input portal and the Nastran output portal. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video insightful and will help you in your usage of discovering better designs faster and coupling Heeds MDO with Nastran.